Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dan Hop Realtor. Well, today I'm helping one of my out-of-state clients relocate to the beautiful state of Texas. And we were in the Stone Oak area, kind of the north central part of San Antonio. And we were in the Stone Valley subdivision. The house behind me is a little bit older. It was built in 1997. And uh, it's a three bedroom, two bath, just over 2,400 square feet. Let's go check it out. This is a gated community, so very quiet. You can tell this is a very well manicured lawn. It's got the St. Augustine grass, which is doing very, very well. And the reason I'm walking over here is, if you can see where I'm pointing, that little yellow sign, that is where the park and pool is at. So if you got little ones, that's a really good uh, benefit, being able to just walk down the street and there's the pool. I'm gonna show that at the end of the video too but you are on a corner lot um in this area you're gonna have lots of doctor's offices um it's very easy to get out of here get to blanco but we do have a whole foods in the area great schools um you are in bear county so you do have bear county taxes so uh, keep that in mind um it's just a little bit more expensive than the texas hill country where i do most of my videos at all right let's head inside this home and still we'll see what you think this is in the northeast isd uh the elementary school is wilderness oak elementary middle school is lopez and high school is ronald reagan high school and reagan high school is one of the top high schools in the area I've had some other folks that just closed on a house. That was one of their criteria. They wanted to have their kids being able to go to Reagan High School. But look at this house. There's definitely some updates that need do done to this because it was built in 1997. So it does have lots of built-ins. This laminate floor is brand new. I'm trying to determine whether or not this, they didn't have the builder disclosed, but, uh, you can definitely tell this house was built in 1997 because some of the features in it, the little uh, handles there, the what I call little kid cabinets, you definitely have to bend over. And those are in the master bedroom. I have a house that I just replaced those in to make them a little more adult friendly because my back doesn't work that well anymore. But well, this is the first bedroom, good sized room. It is an okay closet. Oh, and the asking price is 349K. I talked to the listing agent and yes, there's been lots of lots of interest. We are on day two and she said people have been calling her left and right about this house. There is definitely gonna be multiple offers on it. So keep that in mind. Finding something in the Stone Oak area, which is very desirable for this price point is not easy, but they do have a lot of like kind of original features from 1997. So you have your opportunity to put your own touches on this house. It's moving ready, but to bring the style up to uh, 2022, it's gonna take a little work. Not much, just updating some features. This is the other closet, I mean, other uh, bedroom. So you have the two bedrooms up front, your utility room. They do have a gas uh, for your walk, I mean, air dryer there. We don't see that too often, so, and I know a lot of people come from the West Coast, they're used to having gas dryers, but they've got it here. Let's check out the garage real quick. Now this is a pretty good size two car garage. Always look at how much of a gap is in between the garage doors. Garage doors are pretty standard, but the gaps on the side, you've got places for your trash cans. So that's good, and a sprinkler system. I don't see the water heater here. I would not be surprised if the water heater is up in the attic. All right, you got your formal dining room space. And these are actually pretty tall ceilings for this era of house. 
and here's the kitchen. Yes, it does need some updates. But lots and lots of good things to work with. Put some granite in there, change out the backsplash. And this kitchen, maybe add a little different lights. I've got these same type of lights in my house and that's a project I've been needing to get to. But uh, I saw the gas line for the dryer. So I'm pretty sure there's gonna be gas in here, but they have an electric oven. I'll have to get with a listing agent to find out about that. Nice full of glass things there. Don't see this too often anymore. All right, let's check out the main living space. This is your breakfast nook space right here. Like I said, still pretty tall ceilings. Plenty of space for your table. Main living space. You can put your couch here. Have your TV set up above the fireplace or off in the corner if you wish. But yeah, if you put the granite in, you can always extend the granite out a little bit, making this a little bit more of a sitting area. And if you are looking to do granite, I definitely recommend not going to Lowe's or Home Depot. They're selling granite on national prices. We have an area here called Granite Row in San Antonio where you can really shop for your own slab. And also make sure you get an undermount sink when you do that. I'm a big fan of the granite composite sinks. All right, let's go check out the outside. All right, this is has a big yard. If new construction houses, uh, they're notorious for having smaller yards because land's gotten expensive. That is a recently replaced roof. I can look in the seller's disclosure to find out exactly when, but that's a pretty nice roof up there. Some beautiful oak trees. And look, they even got a little swing already for you. Nice privacy fence and a nice little space here. Remember, we are on a corner lock. You're, but this is also a gated community, so you're not gonna have a heavy traffic in here. But a nice little space where if you wanted to put a pool or a playground set or anything back here, you really can. All right, let's head on back and check out the owner suite. Another little hint that this place has gas. I can see the little port right here where you put the key in to turn the gas on. And lots and lots of built-ins. All right, that's the owner suite, lots of uh, windows. Water closet, a little snug, might be a little tricky trying to close the door in behind you. Garden tub with windows with blinds and a little shower. I'm thinking this was a Pulte built home from 1997. This, this shower reminds me a lot of one of my rental properties. And so does, like I said, the low cabinets. But don't let that be a deal breaker. It's not too difficult to pull those out, put new ones in. The problem would be finding tile that would match going in there. Good sized closet. A little bit weird lighting in here. But just one closet. But remember they're only asking 350 for this house. And it's a great community, great schools. Just need some updating, but that's why they have this priced at 350. 
All right, before I do my wrap up, I want to come back outside and kind of show you a little bit more of this house and the playground. So this is the side of the house where the garage is at. See the roof. And we're gonna do a little walk down here to the playground. So let me pause a little quick, real quick, and oh, another little point for insurance wise, you will have the fire extinguisher, you know, fire hydrant right there. All right, let's go to check out this playground. Uh, be advised, there are a lot of little speed bumps in here that are really hidden. I didn't even notice them until after I ran over them. Luckily, I have a truck, it's no big deal. A little more look at the neighborhood as we come up. This is the main road coming in. However, like I said earlier, it's a gated community, so not a lot of traffic. As I'm filming this, it is May 19th, uh, March, no, May 2022. Weather's getting a little warm. We're expecting to be in the low 90s today. There's a little bit of a playground nothing really to write home about but the pool uh, HOA fees are I believe 780 a year so not too bad but a lot of that goes to the gate and have to maintain the roads because once you have a gated community the community has to maintain the roads not the county All right, here's the pool area. It's like they got a little kiddie pool section back over there, and then the rest of the pool. All right, let me head on back and I'll do my wrap up. All right, that's gonna wrap the tour for uh, this pre-existing home in the Stone Oak area. I do these video tours for my out-of-state clients because, well, in this market, uh, you can't wait until your boots are on the ground to start making a decision. You really need to start jumping on it before you get here. And that's why I do these videos. I'm not making this video public until my clients have a decision on it or this house gets under contract with someone else. All right, if you like this video or if you're looking for a realtor, the best way to reach out to me is to click my calendar link in the description box and I'll be happy to help. And if you like these videos, hey, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.